In this problem, we want to find the force that we have to put onto block B so that it moves with constant velocity. Now, I've drawn the force diagram for block A, which is the block on top here. I have the normal force between B and A, the tension on the rope pulling right, and from block A's perspective, it's moving to the right, so the force of friction will be opposing it to the left. And then we have the mass of A times the gravity, pushing it down. So first, I'm going to use the sum of the forces in the y direction equals mass times acceleration in the y, which is equal to zero, since this block will be moving at constant velocity. I'm going to do this for block A first. That gives the normal force between B and A minus the mass of A times G is equal to zero. Thus, in BA is equal to 1.90, since I move this over, and then the mass of A and G is a given. And so I can get that as equal to 1.9 newtons. And then I can solve for the friction force with that. So that means that FBA is equal to mu K in BA by definition of the friction force. And when I plug in those values, I should erase that. I get a value of 0 0.57 newtons. Now I want to apply the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to 0 for the same block. And when I do that, I get tension to the right and then friction force between B and A on the left. And we just calculate what the friction force between B and A is. So this means that the tension is 0 0.57 newtons. Now I'm going to draw the force diagram for block B, which is a bit more complicated. So if that is my point there, I'm going to have a normal force up because of the weight of block B. I'm just going to call it in. I'm going to have the weight pulling down. So I'm just going to call this WB, the weight of block B. I also have an additional downward force of NAB, which is equal to negative NBA. They're equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. I have three forces to the right. One force is the friction force between A and B, which is now moving to the right. I've got the tension of the rope also moving to the right. And then I have one more force. And it's the friction between block B and the ground, and it's also moving to the right. I accidentally drew a vector over my K here. Should be that. I also have a force to the left. And that's the force that we eventually want to solve for. So this is the force diagram for block B. And so it's significantly more complicated than the one for block A. Now, we calculated in the previous part that NBA was equal to 1.9 newtons. And so this is equal to negative 1.9 newtons. The negative just means that NAB is in the downward direction. And now the first thing I want to do is calculate FAB, which is this force here. It's equal to mu k, the uh, coefficient between block B and the ground, and NAB. NAB was found here, and we're given the coefficients for the full problem. So this is equal to 0 0.3 times 1.9 which is equal to 0 0.57 newtons. Now I want to apply Newton's second law in the y direction for block B. This gives that in the normal force between the table and B minus MBG, which I also called WB earlier, same thing. 
minus n a b is equal to zero. So n is equal to w b plus n a b, both of which are known as 4.2 newtons and 1.9 newtons. And so that's equal to 6.1 newtons. Thus, now that we know what n is, we can figure out what f of k is. It's equal to mu k times n, which is equal to 0 0.3 times 6.1. We calculated it here. And so this is equal to 1.83 newtons. Lastly, we want to do the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to the mass times acceleration in the x direction, which is equal to zero. And we're going to do this for block B now. This equation implies that the friction force between A and B, and really I shouldn't put vectors over anymore because we're just worried about the x direction now. plus the tension, plus the friction between block B and the ground, minus the force that, force that we're exerting is equal to zero. This implies that F is equal to FAB plus D plus FK. And all of these we found in previous parts of the problem. And so it's two times 0 0.57. That's FAB and T, which are the same plus 1.83. And so our final answer is 2.97 newtons that we have to exert. And that's the final answer.